A Cleveland man was given a second chance at life, and we caught up with him at Siskin, where he's undergoing rehabilitation. Latrice Curry has his story in Eye on Health. It's one of the biggest projects of the year for the Salvation Army. Joel Rogers was hard at work in Cleveland trying to make sure children in his community had a good Christmas. December 13th, 2023, I am minding my own business. I'm at work with Salvation Army. We're doing a gift giveaway called Angel Tree, um, one of our bigger projects of the year, my favorite day of the year. But something was off. Joel didn't feel well but just thought he was tired because he had not gotten a lot of sleep lately. I texted my wife and just said, hey, come out here. I need you to get me to the ER. Where we were was only about a two, three minute drive. Thank God, thank God, from the hospital here in Cleveland. Joel says his heart was racing when he arrived at the emergency room. The medical staff initially thought he was having a heart attack. And then I'm still screaming with screaming pain in my lower back. And they gave me two EKGs. Both showed nothing. Completely clear. So they're head scratching, trying to figure out what is wrong. The ER doctor had the wherewithal to say, let's give him an x-ray. That x-ray raised serious concerns. Joel says an aortic root had completely torn away from his heart. Doctors called for a medical flight to Chattanooga. I'm blissfully unaware on the gurney, but they tell my wife. They tell her, you need to go kiss him goodbye because we're not 100%. He's even going to make the flight. But Joel says in that moment, he felt peace. He arrived at the hospital and was rushed into surgery. It lasted 10 hours. He coded three times and had serious complications. You're alive, but your kidneys may never function right again. You're going to be on dialysis probably for the rest of your life. Your bladder is not going to function. Joel was finally able to be transferred to Siskin Hospital for rehabilitation, where he had to learn to do basic things all over again, like learning to walk, talk, and eat. The muscles that protect our airway when we swallow were not doing what they were supposed to do, so he was at risk for things to go into his windpipe. So we were working on strengthening those muscles. Um, I would give him different things. I think his favorite part of the day was to get ice chips. Joel says he's getting stronger every day. Sarah says the biggest things for patients like Joel is meeting them where they are. You know, I just say, let's just try five ice chips, you know, just, but also understanding this is a tough day. Like, we're not, we don't have to do as much today. So I think just understanding and, um, but being encouraging also. Latrice Curry with that story, and we want to wish Joel well on his road to recovery as he moves on to outpatient rehab at Siskin.